Hi Allison, Monica here. Um, as always, it's a lot easier just to show rather than to tell. Um, very typical of an author. <laughs> um, so I'm going to show you the difference between a profile locked down and a page. <clears throat> Your business page is specifically designed to advertise you and your work. Um, your profile is your personal profile where you get to do whatever with your friends. Um, people on your page have to, um, they have to like it. Um, and I believe they can follow you as if you follow you. You can also follow on a personal profile, but you individually can limit who follows you. So, um, I actually have been drilling down and removing friends. I had like about 1,800 friends, and I've now um, gotten rid of a lot of them. And I intend to bring this number down a lot more. Um, so let me show you exactly how to lock things down. It's under your privacy settings. Um, over here, a little drop arrow, and you scroll down to settings. And under your privacy link here, you have who can see my stuff. So you have the choice under who can see your future posts. Right now, everything that you have, depending on where it's set, um, is related to who can see. So if you have it set to public, that means that anybody on Facebook can see it. Doesn't necessarily mean that they can comment on it because you can limit that but you can have friends or um, you can set it to don't show to some friends you can um, remove people this way too but this is a really big pain so I wind up um, just unfriending people it's just easier so I have mine set to friends um, originally I had it set to public but I don't want everybody to see stuff so I select it friends um, so then you want to know who can see your friends list. That means, um, let me open up another, go back to my profile. I have all my stuff up here at the top. It's easier. Um, when you are working with your friends list, if you set it to only you, then any friends that you have here, do, there's nobody that shows up. So that means that if you have a friend and they see that you're my friend, they can ask for a friend re request. And a lot of people automatically friend somebody who makes the request simply because they're connected to you. So they assume that this new person is kosher, but um, that's not always true. So um, I have it set to only me who can see my friends. Um, the friends actually control who sees their friendships online. So um, I think I told you just the backwards piece. Um, but again, it locks down your profile. Um, you can review all your posts and things you're tagged in. Um, I have it set so that I, let me see if I can, my, I get notifications and I set it so that I enable it here. Again, if you click here, it'll tell you if you can enable it, enable it or disable it. And that means that when somebody tries to post to your particular profile, um, give you an example, my youngest um, cannot stand Trump. That's my page. I have to delete it. Um, and she will post, she will try and post things that are sometimes quite obnoxious. So <laughs> I don't want people seeing it, even though I might feel what she's saying. Um, or sometimes she just posts, puts something on my timeline that's just, she did something yesterday with the guy was just plain ugly. <laughs> And um, it was a funny meme, but I just didn't want to see the guy's face, so I didn't allow it on my timeline. So um, 
this is where you make the change. So let's go back to, oh, I'll just click the back key, take me back to privacy. Um, you can set to can send you friend re requests. Um, the only p the only choices you have are everyone or friends of friends. So at that point, you really kind of not much you can do about it other than to set it like this. Um, and then just don't friend anyone that you don't know or, or ex don't accept the request. In other words, you can have people who can look you up using your email address, your phone number, um, or you can allow search engines outside of Facebook to um, grab hold of your profile link and list it. I have mine set to no. Um, again, you don't have much choice here. You can have friends, friends of friends, or everyone. Anytime I see something that allows me to share just with friends, that's what I use. I, I don't allow anybody else connection there. Um, so let's go back to privacy. Da, da, da. Timeline. Who can post on your timeline? As I explained, I set mine to friends. Um, but I review those posts. As you can see, it's turned on here. Um, yes, click on it. Close it. Um, you can also um, click to see what someone looks on your t looks at when you look at your profile. Um, right now, the only if if it's somebody that if it's somebody in the public who doesn't know me, this is all they see. They'll see some old posts. Um, they'll see. No photos, no friends, no featured albums. They'll see my general information. And fortunately, my bio is updated and it indicates this is my private profile. Visit my author page. You can also view it as like a specific uh, individual. Let me type in, um, whoops, my SON. Not that. Um, right here is you and this is what you can see you can see everything versus um, somebody in the public who sees this um, so it basically locks down your profile so you can pretty much as long as your friends are in your tribe so to speak um, that they have the same values the same viewpoints they might disagree or something, but as a general rule, um, they're going to follow along with you and they're not going to be offended if you post something that's a political rant or whatnot. I still limit mine. I still make my political um, comments. Um, for instance, so let me scroll down. I did, um, when Trump made those really lousy uh, tweets, oh, I gotta go, okay. And I made this particular post um, because he just went beyond the pale um, with regard to that. And I have a number of people who agree with me. So one, not everybody saw the post because page, Facebook suppresses. All of these people are definitely in my tribe because they all agree that what he did was wrong. Um, and then the rest, most other people either didn't see it because it, it went by on their feed too fast or um, they either didn't disagree or they didn't have any comment to make. So they just passed it on. Um, let me go back to the top again. So that's pretty much how you um, change your settings to set it to private so that nobody can pretty much see what you're posting. And that's the whole point of a personal profile. You want to be able to have the privacy. Again, I'm going to let this sit here so you can, or you can just pause the video to see how I have mine set. Um, who can see my future post? Because this will not, if you set it for future posts, if you change it now, anything you've had in the past may possibly be visible if Facebook 
explicit. So just be aware that that's the possibility. Um, you want to know who can see your friends list? I say only me. Primarily that's, I told you backwards, when people see my friends list, they can always click on that person and then go make a friend with them and then it can come back to haunt you because then they might try and friend you and it's if you're not sure who they are and you're trying to be nice and you accept them and then that's the wrong way to go about it. Um, you can review all your posts just as I showed you in terms of allowing what you allow in your timeline. You can limit um, the audience for posts you've shared um, in terms of content on your timeline that you've shared um, in the past, I guess in the past, um, you can limit the number that are listed. So it can't be, this global change cannot be undone with one click. Um, so just really read through this. I'm not really sure what this does and I don't think that I've said it. So Oh, well, I guess I did. It says limit past posts. Um, who can send you friends requests? Obviously, there's only two choices. So you, you're just going to have to work with that there. Um, and then all these other issues. So that's how you lock down your per personal profile. And um, as I said, you can view or see how someone views it um, under, go back need to go out of this. This is how your friends will see it and you can view it as the public and ew, you might have to play around with it. Um, view as this is the public. It doesn't show me. Doesn't I know there's a way to show it because I just I just did it for you a second ago. So, that's your personal profile. Now, your business profile is, go back here. This is what your business profile looks like. It has your profile um, and your name and then all your nice little um, things that are actually on your page. People are not going to see this stuff. Let me click on, where is it? Oh, here. Um, you can do view as page visitor. So when I click this says, you know, what the visitor is actually going to see and they're going to see your, the pictures, um, that you've posted. Um, you can't do it, but if you click, if they click see more, they're going to see more posts that are down here. So when you do posting to your page, that's the content that I was posting for you that you wanted to monitor, that you wanted to not use. But if we use Pinterest, then we can make it so that it's content that you approve of and that we can put it in your voice when you make a, um, a comment about it. So I'm having a little bit of trouble with Pinterest um, in terms of their links. So I might have to actually um, download the photo and upload it with a comment um, and I'll try and put the links in. If it's an issue, um, I'll, I'll let you know. Um, so just make sure that when you're working on Pinterest, you can make um, sure that you get quite a number of them, anything from 250 to 300. And if you have more than 300, that's, that's great because I'll be able to add more. Um, if there's a problem with a particular image, um, I would go ahead and I would create boards. Um, I can still pull for them and I'll know, I'll make note of what has been, um, used. Um, I would put, you know, just whatever you like, um, these are some of my boards. Um, I segregate my clothing out by particular periods. Edwardian, um, World War I, um, the Regency era. And then I have other things. Um, I 
like carriages, everything in here. This is this is a pretty cool picture. <laughs> I don't know why I feel like I have to show it to you, but I just think that that's this is an inside of a carriage that um, pretty elaborate. So that's this is how your your page is going to look to your visitor. Um, when you switch back to your view, you're going to get all the different information, and you have to scroll down to see your posts. Um, and you can make your various changes here. Um, I don't know why this doesn't work properly, but I have it tied in so that you can actually see my boards here as well. Twitter, <clears throat> I have it set so you can see everything that I've um, that I've tweeted. It doesn't show the posts, but if you click on the the link, it'll take you directly to the Twitter um, post and let's see click on this one this takes you to another Twitter uh, post that I've made so that's pretty much all there is to it um, the difference is this is your page um, how someone sees it is basically here you click on it and this will help you know whether or not you've locked anything down as far as your page goes. With your profile, all those settings, you will have to go up here to the little drop arrow, go to settings, click privacy, and then all of these are where you make the changes. And basically you just limit everything either to friends or if you have been given only one or two choices, um, this is where you're going to have to set it. Um, I tend to say only me um, or friends for different things, so that's up to you. As far as following, I know that public posts is here. You can filter who can comment on your public posts. You can get notifications. Um, you can... Um, determine who can like or comment which would be friends um, comment ranking I'm not sure what that is um, so I just leave it off um, and I've linked my Twitter profile um, to this uh, particular profile you can turn that off if you don't want to deal with that um, so that's pretty much all there is to it um, if you have any questions Feel free to um, ask, and I'll try and answer them. Um, it's Facebook is not necessarily intuitive, so um, you just have to kind of play with it. Um, that's all. Thanks.